right, so I'm going to cook some stuff, specifically hash. For this, it's very simple. All you need is a potato, garlic, onions and cheese, oil, salt, eggs, fake bacon by Morningstar Farms, butter, a box cutter, a plate, two pans, something to, like, drain the potato once you grate it. And that's it. It's simple. So the first thing you want to do is grate the potato and wash it using magic. Once you finish using your magic to grate the potatoes, you're going to want to uh, drain them using your towel and set it aside for later. Next, you're going to chop up the garlic and have the onions already chopped and also chop up the Morningstar's Farm Veggie Breakfast Fake Bacon. It's really good actually. It's better than it sounds. Um, yeah, so use your magic to do that now. Now that you've chopped everything up, you're going to want to take your oil, dump a little bit onto the bigger pan, not too much now, a little more, and then you're going to set the uh, stove to medium heat, and you're going to saute all of this stuff for about five to eight minutes, and then after that, you're going to see once I go to the next scene. While this is cooking, you're going to want to use the spatula that I forgot to mention earlier to stir everything around. Also, you're going to want to pan it because the pan doesn't have nearly enough room for all the potatoes that you grated. So you're going to just think about that for the next five minutes, kind of obsess over a bit, and uh, yeah, have fun. Once the five minutes are up, you're going to want to turn the heat down to low and dump in your potatoes. And then, you're going to want to stir those potatoes around to make sure they're all touching the bottom. If they're not, then you have a problem. And frankly, you don't want to have a problem. You're going to let that cook for about five minutes or so. Next thing you want to do, crack two eggs into that convenient potato holding bowl. I'm sure it won't get cross-infected or anything. Oh, God. No potatoes left. You're going to want to crack them on the counter so they don't uh, break the yolks. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. <laughs> I'm actually surprised. Yeah, look at that. They're perfect. I'm doing well. Oh, For about five minutes, you're going to want to turn over most of the potatoes. I'm turning over the potatoes now. You can't see it because I need two hands to do it. Wow. They look brown, which is what you want them to look like. Yeah. And then you're going to want to use the salt that you have over here that I mentioned earlier. And uh, somehow with one hand, with two hands, salt the uh, potatoes. And then you're going to want to take this butter that I cut off screen because I forgot I was filming this for a thing and not just for my enjoyment. Toot this pan on medium heat as well. Get the butter. Do the butter thing. Use the butter. And the cheese. I forgot about the cheese. You're going to want to take that cheese, spread it over top now that you flipped it. It's so hard to do things one-handed. You want a good helping of cheese because cheese is good. And I like cheese. Mm-mm, look at that cheese. You're going to want to get a lid after you put the cheese back into the fridge because you're running out of time. And cover that cheese so it'll melt. Where's the lid? It's down here. Like that. Now you're going to go back to the eggs that you haven't put on the stove yet because the butter isn't melting and you need to hurry that up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to put the eggs on over easy. We're going to pretend that didn't happen. Those eggs cook for about two and a half minutes until the whites are fully solid. While you're doing this, you can contemplate how you, why you spent $10 on a challenge for fake survivor. Once that cheese mostly melted and the eggs are almost done, you're going to want to take your pan and uh, scrape off the bottom a bit because it'll get sticky a bit. Mm -mm. Listen to that sizzle. You can't smell it, but it smells delicious. And I'd tell you that even if it didn't, because I want to win. Ah, look at that. 
Now that your eggs are done, you're gonna to wanna to go over here, turn them off, and just slide those two eggs right onto the... You're gonna to wanna to scrape them up using the same spatula from earlier, and slide those two eggs right onto the plate. Mm-mm, and there you have it. It may look like a mess, but it's actually really delicious. Give me a second and I'll take a bite to prove it to you. Mm. This is a southern classic. Looks like a mess, tastes delicious. Bottoms up. It's hot. But yeah, you got that fake bacon, you got that egg, you got that uh, cheese. It's delicious. How, why, who wouldn't like this? This stuff's delicious. And if we don't win, that's because the judges rigged this against us. All right, thank you for your time. Hey everyone, I'm Belch. As you can see, I'm the only person who has the balls to show their face on my tribe. So hey, how's it going? Um, today, I'm making with you my world famous stovetop popcorn. Um, if you make it any other way in the microwave, you are a fraud and you do not deserve to live. I hate to say it, so let's go do that. Ingredients you need. So you're going to need salt, you know, salt. Uh, you're going to need butter. Um, you're going to need popcorn, obviously, and you're going to need oil. Generally, I always go with olive oil because it gives more flavor, but we're out, so I'm just using regular old vegetable oil. It should, be, it should be just fine. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go get a large cast iron pan. Make sure it has a lid to go on top of it for when the popcorn starts to pop. Then, you're going to set your stove to medium-high heat. While you're waiting for it to heat up, feel free to go read a book or something in the meantime. Once the pan is hot and toasty, you're going to want to pour some oil on the pan. Pour just enough so that it coats the surface. As you can see, give the oil a little swoosh so that it covers everything. Feel free to drain any excess oil. 
All right. Once the oil is hot, cut about one half a tablespoon of butter and place that into the pan. Move it around so that it coats the entirety of the pan. Then pour in about one third of a cup of popcorn. Lastly, pour in the salt. Generally, I just eyeball it until it looks like there's enough salt for everyone. But you know, you, if you want to measure it out, you know, be my guest. All you gotta do now is wait for it to start popping. As you can see, it started to pop, so just put the lid on and watch the fireworks. While it's popping, be sure to move the pan back and forth. This will prevent any burning, as the impop kernels will fall to the bottom and the pop ones will be on top. When the popping starts to slow down, turn off the heat. My general rule of thumb is, when there hasn't been a pop for 10 seconds, it's good to take off the lid. Once the lid is off, it's ready to serve. Put the popcorn in your favorite popcorn bowl and enjoy. Feel free to add any additional salt if you're a little salt goblin. I like it the way it is. Go sit down with that popcorn and enjoy your favorite show and or movie. I know I certainly will. I hope you had a nice time watching this and have a great day everyone. P.S. We're not going to lose.